how you can use the conditional display feature to only display a discount code to the users who have access to a particular Thrive Apprentice course from your online school. So first open the page or post on which you plan to work. I will be using a pre-built landing page that I've customized to match my offer. So this is the piece of content that I want to work on. So everything you see here is placed in a larger block of content that supports the conditional display option. So it's important to check this as this feature works only with larger blocks of content, such as background sections, content boxes, blocks, custom menus, and text elements. So what I want to do now is basically create the second display and that second display will only be visible to those users who already have access to a Tribe Apprentice course that I'm going to set up in the conditional display set the rules. So all the visitors landing on this page will see this block of content, but the ones that have access to the course I was telling you about will see a variation of this block, which I'm going to be customizing in the following minutes. So with this block selected, you can see here in the breadcrumbs that this is the one that's highlighted. I'm going to open the left sidebar list of options and just expand the conditional display section. So the default display is the one that's currently visible. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it and I'm going to proceed with giving it a name so that I can easily distinguish between the two displays that I have now. All right. So now I'm going to proceed with customizing this second display. And to do that, I'm going to first have to make sure that I'm editing the correct variation. So it should be the one that's highlighted right here with the orange color. So now I'm editing the duplicate version. So let me just speed up the process a bit and make the changes that I want. All right. So now I'm pretty much done. I've changed the design a bit and I've also made sure to include the discount code. And now we've reached this really important step, which is setting up the display conditions. So this is when we will actually set up the rules that will make this display visible only to those users who have access to a Thrive Apprentice course set by me here. Now the course can be of course purchased individually by each member or I might grant access to that user manually. It doesn't really matter as long as the user has access to the Thrive Apprentice product that I'm going to set up here, then that user will be able to view this second display and get access to the discount code. So let me make sure I'm selecting the block once more. And now here, if you hover over different parts of this field, you will see that you have multiple options you can use. I'm going to go ahead and click on the display conditions set of options. So let's proceed with adding a new condition set. In this case, when the user has access to apprentice products, let's look up our product. So this display will be shown only when these conditions that I set up here will be met. Now let's save the work, save this page as well. And this is pretty much done. So as this is currently set up, the visitors who do not meet the conditions, so they are just regular visitors of my website, will see this default display. But if they log in and they have access to the Thrive Apprentice product, so to the art course that I set up in my display conditions, then they will be able to see this variation and they can view this discount code that also comes with a little typo in it. I'm seeing this just now. So yeah, basically this is how you can set this up using the conditional display feature. Now, I hope you found this tutorial useful. We do have several other resources of this type available in our knowledge base that I encourage you to check out if you want to find out more about our products and features.